Okay, so in this video we look at two more examples of geometric series. Um, think of these more of, of applications. Um, what we're looking at is a, a square whose uh, side length is one. So, so it has an area of one. But what we're looking at actually is an infinite series. Okay. Um, when we add up this infinite series, we should also get one. Let's see how that works. Uh, a sub one is a half. The area is a half. Okay. Uh, a sub two represents an area of a quarter. A sub three represents an area of an eighth. A sub four represents an area of a sixteenth. A sub five represents an area of one over 32. A sub six represents an area of one over 64. And we can go on until the whole square is filled up. If we add up these areas, we should get one. And so a half plus a fourth plus an eighth plus a sixteenth on and on forever. Generically, the symbol is one over two to the end. If we add this up forever, we should get a one. How do we know though? For sure, we represent this as a geometric series. The common ratio to get you from term to term is that you're taking half. You're multiplying by a half to get from term to term. It's a geometric series with a ratio of a half. Based on the ratio, you can know whether it converges or diverges. The ratio is a half who has an absolute value is less than one, so the series converges. More than that, you know what the series converges to. It converges to A over one minus R. What is A? It's your first term. What is R? It's your ratio. Well, your first term here is a half, and your ratio is also a half. So you plug into that formula and you get a half over one minus a half. Uh, that's a half over a half. That is one. All is well in the world. Okay, great. All right, let's see another example. In this question, we're asked to represent a repeating decimal as an improper fraction and do this by using a geometric series. Okay, this number 2.15 repeating, where the 15 is repeating, is 2.15, 1515 forever. If we break it down, it is 2 plus 15 one hundredths plus 15 ten thousandths. The next 15 is a one millionth and so on forever. The entire number isn't representative of a geometric series, but the decimal part is. So we can break off the two. The two is fine. We just break off the two and we have ourselves a geometric series where your first term is 15 over 100 and your ratio to get you from term to term is 1 over 100. With, with the ratio like 1 over 100, that's less than 1 in absolute value. It converges and we know it converges to the sum of A over 1 minus R, your first term over 1 minus your ratio. Absolute value of R is less than one, converges, and it converges to this sum here, who is 15 over 100, and then the denominator is 99 over 100. Hundreds cancel out, 15 over 99, but something shouldn't sit right in your soul with that. You gotta think that could be reduced, and so it can. Three goes into both of them. It is 5 over 33. So what about this 2? That's okay. Just 2 plus 5 over 33. It's, it's 2 and 5 33 thirds. It is a mixed number right now. And we're asked to make it an improper fraction. It's old school, right? You remember how to do this? Denominator times the whole number plus the numerator. 33 times 2 is 66. 
66 plus 5, that's your numerator, which is 71. 71 over what? 71 over 33 will give you 2.1515515 forever. Geometric series used to show how to write a repeating decimal as an improper fraction. Okay, so that's it for geometric series examples. You've seen uh, four of them, uh, two videos with uh, two examples in each video, and uh, that should be enough to get you started on some of your exam uh, some of your um, practice problems. Thank you.